Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today is August Battle of the Boxes. So starting off with Birch Box, I have seen no sneak peeks for any of these um, boxes so it's going to be a complete surprise as to what's in them. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so it looks like Birch Box have partnered up with Etsy. Um, I don't know if everyone's box looks like this, but mine is kind of like this um, very art deco-y sort of, um, what do you call it, mid-century, I'd say, like pattern with these palm leaves and beautiful, I don't know, beautiful pattern on it. If you've got a different style box, pop that down below because I'd like to know if these are all inspired by different people. But that's cool, I like it. Okay, getting inside, there's a lot of products in here. Okay, so jumping in, I see this. This is the Rituals Happy Buddha Foaming Shower Gel. It retails for £8.50 and is a full size, I believe. Um, I've actually had quite a few of these, like Rituals of Sakura, or it's actually says it's the Ritual of Happy Buddha, but it's just like the brand Rituals. Um, and they have this foaming, foaming awesomeness. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos before, but I've had these in a few boxes, but different scents. I had like a cherry blossom one um, I'm currently working through. and. They smell amazing. I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand so you can see. Ah, uh, I'm scared. Oh, that was too much. So as you can see, it kind of comes out and then foams up. It's like the best thing ever. It's just so enjoyable. And I always say these would make such brilliant presents for people because they really, really foam up into like this amazingness. And it's just so much fun to wash your body in foam. I don't know why, but it just makes washing more pleasurable and it's so smooth. And I do this every time and now it's all over me. It smells amazing though. It smells like orange and flowers without being too citrusy. It just smells luxurious and beautiful. And it's foamy and it's fun. The next thing is this. This is the Philosophy Purity 3-in-1 Cleanser. It retails for £19 and this is a sample size. I've seen this before. It kind of removes your makeup and hydrates your skin at the same time and you just rinse it away. I've actually really wanted to try this for ages and ages and ages but I just didn't want to commit to that £19 price tag because, I don't know, I feel like to remove your makeup, if you don't love something, you just don't use it because, you know, you either love it or you don't like it and I feel like £19 is quite a commitment to try something out so I'm actually really, really happy that I've got this little sample because I can try it out and see if I actually like it and if it's worth investing in. <laughs> That's why I can't smell it. There's a little piece of foily on top of it. Oh, it smells really nice actually. It doesn't smell of anything like potent. It just smells nice and refreshing. I've heard lots of YouTubers rave about the Philosophy Purity um, makeup remover, so I'm really, really excited I've got this to try it out. And the next thing is this pink tube. This is the Dr. Botanicals Pomegranate Super Fod. Super Fod Regenerating Sleeping Mask. I believe this is a sample size, but the full size retails for £14.90. Um, I actually really, really love Dr. Botanicals. It's one of my favourite skincare. I've not actually bought anything from them, but every time I get things from boxes, I fall in love with them so I don't know why I never buy things from their brand but it's one of my favourites, I love it. So basically you just apply a thin layer of this on your face overnight, you've got to put it on clean skin obviously, um, and then let it absorb into your skin and the antioxidants will rejuvenate tired skin so you'll wake up with a glow and hydrated complexion. Um, I'm not a massive fan of putting face masks on my face at night time because I'm quite like, I sleep with my face in the pillow which is the worst thing you can do for your face but I'm not a very beautiful sleeper. I just sort of get comfy and just like, you know, I just I just get comfy. So um, maybe this will be something more as in the evenings I can do or in the morning if I've got a very like long morning, I can wake up and put this on straight away and do my day sort of thing. I don't know, but I'm intrigued to try it out. It looks really nice and it smells all right. It doesn't really smell of anything. And the next thing is there's a little box. It says a dirty little secret on this box. This is the Dirty Little Secret Eyeshadow Crayon in Gold Plated or Fetch. I've got mine in the shade Fetch. Um, and this retails for £10.50 and is a full size. So this looks like quite a nice shade actually. Ooh. Okay. I personally wouldn't use this colour as an all over the lid shade, but as a highlight for the brow bone and inner corner. That's really beautiful. It's really creamy as well, so I feel like it won't tug on the eyes. Um, that's actually really nice. I really like that in the inner corners with just maybe some brown eyeshadow just whisked in the crease. Like, really, really simple. This in the inner corner and on the brow bone maybe patted on the lid. Really, really nice. Really nice. I don't have anything quite like that. It's like a pink, goldy, champagne-y reflect. I like it. And then the last thing... 
is this. Before I even say what this is, this does not scream to me as a lip colour. It just looks like a crappy little sample. I don't know. This is the CLE Cosmetics Melting Lip Power in Red Cherry. This retails for £15 and is a sample size. I don't know if I'd pay £15 for this, but let's swatch it. Let's not judge a book by its cover. What the hell? I'm so intrigued. Okay, right. I don't know if you'll be actually able to see this. Hang on, let me just see if I can like plug it in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, oh, I, I hope you can see. It's like powdery. That's the weirdest, most bizarre thing ever. Okay, so applying it here. Oh. Oh, it's like a powder that melts. That's the most bizarre thing I've ever used. It's actually not the sort of shade I'd usually go for. It's quite bright. Um, I do own shades like this, and I do feel like this sort of shade occasionally, but that's not the sort of shade I gravitate on a daily basis. But that's really really cool i wouldn't use it as a cheek tint either because i look like coco the clown but that's awesome okay i judged the book by its cover the concept of this is really cool like the powdery like awesomeness Ooh. the next is our glossy box okay so this box is really really unique i'm guessing it's something to do with pride um just like a off the back guess it's got a very big rainbow on it and i like it this has definitely got to do with pride, surely. And inside it's got a rainbow ribbon as well. I love it. Okay, so the first thing I see is this big thing right here. This is the Victoria's Secret Pink Let's Pre-Glam Perfecting Sheet Mask. It retails for £5 and is a full size, obviously, because it's a sheet mask. Um, I really love sheet masks. They are my favourite because they're so easy and they're so just like put it on, whip it off, you're done. I just, I don't like them clearing up. I'm such a lazy person. So I really, really like sheet masks. It says it has hyaluronic acid in and it's just supposed to give you a really flawless base for your makeup. So it's a kind of a pre-makeup face mask. So that's really interesting. If you're going to some sort of event and you wanted your face to be really plump and moisturized and to look nice, use this mask. I think five pounds is a little bit steep for a face mask that's like singular. But that's because I'm, I'm cheap and I don't like to pay lots of money for one use things. And the next thing is these sticker things. These are the Rimmel London Ink Me Stamp and Sticker Tattoos. This duo from Rimmel London's Ink Me range is the perfect way to edge up your look. It includes a heart stamp tattoo and sticker tattoos. Uh, okay, yeah, I've got this. It's the Ink Me, Ink Me Stamp tattoo and the tattoos. I'm not really fun. In, in the sense that I don't think I've ever tried these sorts of things before. Um, but I suppose there's a time and a place for everything. Um, I just don't know when that time and place will be. If you're a festival goer though, I imagine that, that these are really cool and will be used by you. Um, but I am not a festival goer. I, I'm a re reading my book in bed goer. Um, so yeah, these are kind of cool. They retail for £4.99, which I don't know if that's a good price or not. You just apply these just like you did when you were younger with those little like semi-permanent tattoos with just like a damp cloth on your skin for 30 seconds. That's kind of cool. Um, what's this? The Ink Me Tattoo. Oh, it's got a little heart on it. I've like dotted it in the most awkward place possible. There we go. Look at that. A dot of heart on my hand. That's really cool. I might keep this for um, like looks that I do in the future if I ever want to have hearts. Or oh, Valentine's Day. Probably pass these on to my younger cousin so she can have fun looking metallic and cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this for Valentine's Day and do like a Valentine's Day look with it. I know I'm thinking into February and we are in August, but I like to think about the future quite a lot. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. I like it. The next thing... There's a lot of things in boxes here. The next thing is this. This is by Trifle Cosmetics. I always love their packaging. I think it's so like pretty and just fun. This is the Lip and Cheek Jam. It retails for £17.50 and is a full size. It lasts for 10 hours. Dab small dots onto the apples of your cheeks and lips, then blend with your fingers, keeping it natural and nonchalant, which, which is always a nice look. I don't really like these things. Like I'm a bit scared of them and this colour is very like raspberry-ish. I'm going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to rub it in. Okay. Actually, when you rub it in, it becomes like nothing. I suppose if you're doing like a no makeup makeup day and you didn't even want foundation on, you just wanted something on your cheeks, then this is ideal because it's not very pigmented at all. It feels quite nice and like nourishing. Um, I probably wouldn't put this on my lips just because it's just not really there. 
Um, I wouldn't pay £17 for it. It's vegan and it's all cruelty free and organic. So, you know, that's kind of cool. I'm into it. I like it. I just don't normally gravitate towards these things. The next thing is a little metallic tube. This is the 3 in A, the Shadow Paint 703 a Blue. Eyeshadow is back. Um, this retails for £8.95 um, and is basically a highly pigmented, long lasting and waterproof eyeshadow for your eye. Apply with an angled brush to create a eyeliner or put it all over the lid for a super shock look. This, if this is the colour blue it is, bloody hell. Oh wow, look how blue that is. I think this could work really well as a base um, for a blue eyeshadow because personally, I mean, going back to when I used to go out clubbing when I was like 18, only, well, only three years ago, but I don't really go clubbing anymore. Um, I would always go out with a blue, navy blue eye with silver sparkle as a halo. Like, I think that'd be my, that'd be my look. Every single time I go out clubbing, I would wear that eye. So this would work really well for like a blue eyeshadow base because it's quite sticky. Um, I don't think it dries down. I'm not entirely sure. It must do. But um, it'd be really cool. And also, as an eyeliner, I really, really, really love blue eyeliner as a wing because I think it looks so, like, edgy and cool. Um, it's not quite a cobalt blue. It's more of a navy blue. But I like this. I don't own anything like this. This is really, really unique. I really, really like that. And it's only £8.95, which I don't think is a terrible price. I feel like this is the sort of thing you wouldn't use every day. It's not like an everyday item, but if you were to go out and you want to really vamp up your look, I don't know what colours they do have in store or like online, um, but I feel like these are the sort of things that you would have in your collection to sort of enhance a makeup look if you're going out. So, okay, I think it does dry down. Okay, I need help. But yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. And then the last thing in here is another little box by Kaleido Cosmetics never heard of them before. They are cruelty free which is what I like to see. This is the Kaleido Cosmetics Astrolite Highlighter. It retails for £13. Um, it's 100% cruelty free, vegan and all of that great stuff. Um, for a natural illumination, mix a few dabs with a foundation and put it all over your cheeks. So that sounds cool. Um, it's quite dark. I don't know if I'd use it as a highlighter. It would be really cool as an eyeshadow though. Let me just swatch the... Oh! It's so beautiful. I would 100% use this as an eyeshadow. I don't think I'd use it as a highlight because it's a little bit too deep for me. Um, it just looks like this. Look how stunning that is. I don't know if you can actually see the undertone of it. There you can. You can see the undertone there. So obviously on my skin tone that would look like I've been punched in the face. But as an eyeshadow that would look stunning absolutely stunning and last but not least we have our pink parcel okay so the first thing i see is this bag um and i've had this before where we can donate pads and tampons that we don't use um and we just got this little slip that we put in with it just to send it off um there's some really kind of like really crappy facts actually um that one in ten girls can't afford tampons and pads and that's actually really sad because i think a lot of us don't think about um that sort of thing. I think we just get it and that's it. It's part of being a girl, but um, I personally couldn't imagine not having sanitary towels and tampons when my time of the month occurs, because, so that's a really sad fact. It says that 27% of girls have used a tampon or pad for longer than intended because they couldn't afford to uh, use a fresh one, which is really, really sad as well because that's actually really unhealthy it can cause health risks and infection so yeah it's really sad um 40 percent of the girls in the uk ever use toilet roll as a makeshift pad as they can't afford fem care that's that's a hell of a lot of people um and more than 137,000 girls in the uk regularly miss school because they can't afford fem care which is a really really crap fact as in like I didn't know that and that's really horrible to think. So just like I did last time I will be putting some tampons and pads and little towels in here just for someone in need. Um, I did a month's worth last time, well I did like a week's worth sorry, I did like a week's worth of pads. I'll leave some of these charities down below that they've mentioned um, that try to banish the whole like not being able to afford femcare um, if you want to learn more about it so yeah I'll put that down below because that's really sad. We've got a HelloFresh voucher, which I'll also leave down below with all the other discount codes. And then on to the For You box. We're getting straight into it, I see something I love. These are candy kittens in the flavour Eaton Mess. This is a full size and retails £1 for 54 grams. So yeah, £1. Um, I feel like I've paid more for them 
but maybe that's because I've got a bigger pack. Um, but yeah, I really, really love Candy Kittens. They are vegetarian, gluten-free, uh, natural colours and flavours and made with real fruit juice. However, they have got quite a lot of sugar in, so don't feed these to your children or like eat them excessively because you think they're healthy. They're not healthy. They're very good at pretending that they're healthy, but they are, they are full of sugar. So in this bag alone, there's about 30 grams of sugar, which is actually three fifths of the whole packet is sugar. So, you know, when you put it into that sort of perspective, it's not actually really healthy, but you know, if you're gluten free and you're vegetarian and all that sort of stuff, they are really, really good. They don't taste crap. They are really, really yum. The next thing in here, is this this is the oyuza or oyuza dewy glow skin beauty balm it's a full size and retails for 11 pounds 95 and it uses a subtle highlighter on your cheekbones or as a glossy balm for your lips and cuticles your cuticles suitable for the most sensitive of skin and enriched with the jehova oil shea butter and vitamin e there's lots to love about this balm and has built in uva and uvb protection okay it's kind of like this little balmy waxy thing i don't know if you can actually see that on the back of my hand there it's just like this balmy wax a little bit like Vaseline. It would be really, really nice for those no makeup makeup days where you just want a bit of a glow, but you don't want all that like glitteriness on you. So I'm actually really intrigued to try this out with no makeup makeup, maybe a bit of concealer, a bit of this, and like a nice lip, because it's like a really good like wet, sweaty looking highlight. I, I'm, I'm intrigued. The next thing is this. Okay, so this is a perfume little bottle thing. This is the English Laundry number no. 7 for her purse spray. Retails for £60 for 50ml um, and is a full size. So we've effectively got a £60 perfume in our box. Oh, oh, hang on. Do I like that? It's a very feminine smell. It's a clean smell. I don't hate it. I just probably wouldn't wear it on my skin. But my mum might like it. I wouldn't pay 60 quid for it, but it's nice. The next thing is this. This is the Loritzi Cosmetics Dewpot Illuminator. Okay, so this is a full size. It just looks like this, like a glass pot by Loritzi. It says that it's a multi-purpose cheeks, lips, and lids um, for a luminous glow. It retails for 20 pounds and it's a full size, like I mentioned. It's like a pink base with a gold reflect. So it's nice. I don't know how often I'd use this, but it's nice. I probably wouldn't pay 20 pounds for it because it's quite sticky, but. Hmm. The next thing is this little box. This is the Seba Med Clear Face Mattifying Cream. I really like Seba Meds because it's really natural um, and it doesn't irritate anyone's skin, or it doesn't irritate mine at least. This is the Seba Med Clear Face Mattifying Cream. It retails for £5.69. Um, this is a sample size. Massage into skin morning and night, keeping the T-zone shine at bay. I don't have oily skin or shiny skin, so I could probably give this to my brother because he has very, very oily skin. Um, so he could try this out on his forehead, I guess. The next thing is this. This is the Space Masks Self-Eating Eye Mask. Pop this co coveted cult mask over your eyes to indulge in a chill-out session on the plane or at your hotel. Your dreamy scent of jasmine, this product's warming sensation is a comfort combination that helps you drift into space. <laughs> see what they did there um this is 15 pounds for a box of five and we get one little sample i've actually really wanted to try these out i've seen them on beauty bay before but again i'm like oh what if i hate it it's like 15 pounds on eye masks Ugh. so i really like receiving things like this especially eye masks i love a good eye mask to depuff my eyes i'm actually going on holiday in early next year so i know it's far away but i might save it I might save it for six months and take it with me on holiday. And then the last thing is our tea bag. Apart from this month, it is the Lions 100% fresh ground coffee in a bag. Um, my mum loves coffee, so you can't even see it. There you go. My mum loves coffee, so I'll give this to her. Um, it's essentially a tea bag full of coffee, so it's it's really easy for like work and stuff because it's just like massive. It's like a massive tea bag full of coffee that you can just basically brew it and then chuck the tea bag away. Sounds cool, I guess. Okay, so judgment time. In first place is Birchbox because I love everything in here. I mean, I was a bit hesitant with this little lip powder thing, but I think that's really cool and unique. So if you're a makeup lover, you can just play around with this, I guess. Um, but I'm really excited to get that sample of that purity thing, like that purity face wash. Um, this looks really cool, the little face mask. The illuminator crayon was nice, and so was the body wash thing. I love that, so that's why it's in first place with one point. I was so conflicted for second place, so I've decided to put a glossy box and pink parcel in second place together. Um, because there was products I loved in each box, there was products I wasn't really bothered about in each box. In the pink parcel i really like the eye mask the dewy glow balm really intrigued me and of course the sweets are really nice um and then in the glossy box the face mask 
the paint for your eyes and the highlighter which I would again use for my eyes are really really cool as well. I was kind of not here nor there with those boxes. They're really nice boxes, there was nothing really wrong with them but they were just they were just nice boxes but with the birch box I loved everything inside of it so that's why it's in first place and those are in second. So here are the results that puts birch box in first place with 12.5 points, the glossy box in second with 11.5 points and unfortunately pink parcel trailing behind with 8.5 points. Like I said in my last battle of the boxes if you want to see any other boxes for me to unopen or if you know of any boxes that you're really intrigued about but don't want to commit to the price but you'd like to see unboxed then I'd happily buy them to unbox them for you and add them into battle of the boxes or just premiere it. Um, yeah I'm happy to do so. so if you have a box in mind that you want to see unboxed please do just pop that down below and I'll be sure to do that for you guys but yeah apart from that that is it that has been August Battle of the Boxes I hope you've enjoyed today's video because I love Battle of the Boxes I love unboxing them every month it's like a little present every month I love it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed today's video hit subscribe if you haven't already hit the little bell down to all to see all my other crazy little videos you know you want to and yeah, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. It's at the, it'll be at the very, very bottom in the very bottom of the discount. Oh, la, 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 la. It's powder. I feel so sinusy today. Bloody hate saran wrap. Okay, we done here.